haven't seen one of these in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, this belongs to one of Sarah's friends, so he sent this in for, um, well, I think it's a faulty, it's supposed to be a faulty hard drive, but when I've tried to pair it on to see what kind of error we're getting, I'm not getting any display, but I've noticed that the HDMI port is a little bit knackered, so, yeah, I've actually got to hold the HDMI port. Thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. As the industry leader in custom PCB manufacturing, PCBWay is the only solution you'll ever need for all your engineering projects. With affordable custom PCBs, flexible PCBs, CNC and 3D printing, you can get your project off the ground today. With the PCBWay store, you can purchase development boards, tools and everything you'll need to get started. Prices are competitive and the possibilities are endless. From multimeters to microchips, PCBWay have it all. And if you're struggling for inspiration, you can find pre-made projects by like-minded engineers. To learn more about the PCBWay store, shared projects, or any of PCBWay services, head to the video description where you'll find links to the great products and services that PCBWay offer. Now let's get back to the repair. Right, well I'm wiggling the port, I'm not getting any display. Let me just clean my port out, my cable out quickly, just in case it's my cable. But the port is damaged, it's going to need changing. Yeah, the port is definitely damaged. Yeah, it's not going to display. Um, yeah, the port is knackered though, to be honest. Um, like I, can, I can see that the port is physically split, like in the middle. I don't know if that's going to come across on camera. So, yeah, I'm going to have to take it apart and change the port. The guy is adamant. Why has that been rubbed off? What the hell? The guy's adamant that it's not um that it's not being dropped, but well I mean to be fair If the hard drive's gone because he said he was giving an error message, but if the hard drive's gone, in fact we've got a dent in the corner here as well. But yeah. Oh wow. That's pretty rough. No sync button. Sync button's gone. I'll have to try and find a base out for it. <laughs> yeah, this has definitely been dropped. Uh, the actual front panel, the, the sync button on the front panel is physically broke. There's a sync button. Yeah, definitely been dropped. All right, well, one rule to live by, customers lie. Customers lie. Right, okay, what have we got? We've got a 500 gig hard drive. So this has been cleaned. Oh wow, why is that so twisted? What the? That hard drive's also been replaced. At some point. Why is that so twisty round? That's probably knackered. That SATA cable. That could be what's causing an error code. Well, right then, let's have a look, shall we? Um, yeah, this port is definitely in need of a replacement. As you can see, it's split. So it's meant to look like this one here. See how that middle piece is closed? But because it's split, it's not it's not able to stay in one place and make a solid contact. So I'm going to have to change that. Ignore that gunk that's on there. That is just... Um, that's just going to be factory flux. It's not a prior repair attempt. Oh, I've got my hot air at 480 degrees Celsius just to get these off quicker. Okay, it's starting to come loose. I just felt it click. After I feel it start to move, I always wait at least another 10 seconds or so. There we go. Port's dropped out. 
And we've actually got slight damage to two of these pads here. That's not down to... That's not going to be down to the... Uh, oh, no, it's not. It might just be burned. I was going to say, that wouldn't be down to the removal, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't just damage that. No, they're just burnt. Just crap on him. Old factory flux that's burnt away. I thought they were damaged. That wouldn't have been down to the removal anyway, not, not in that position. That would have been very abnormal. But, uh, meh. It's all good. <laughs> you can look at that floor and say, there is my love. Well, it's definitely a labour of love. I'm hoping to be ready to move by the end of this week. I've pretty much just got to get the kitchen finished now. I've got to get the flooring in the kitchen finished. I've got to get the kitchen sink plumbed in. Um, get the tiles grouted on the walls. And then it's pretty much ready to move in. Well, it'll be livable then. I wouldn't say it'll be ready to lo to move in, but it'll be livable. Just mixing some leaded solder with the uh, lead free on the ground pad on the ground legs or the ground holes rather. There we go. Brand spanking new, direct from consolefix.shop. Right, let me just uh, move the board back into place. Need to make videos of a remodel. It's too much, mate, to do it. I might do videos of the shed build when I start the shed, but that's not going to be for a couple of months yet. But when I build the shed, I might make some videos. There we go. Oh, yeah. A couple of loose pins. Nathaniel Clapp became a member. Thank you, Nathaniel. Appreciate that, mate. Right. All I need to do is see one loose pin and that's it. I can I can say, right, I can justify touching all the pins up. But it's pointless, um, pointless testing any other pin. I might as well just touch them all up at the same time. As a young lad with the move, excited. Um, he doesn't really understand, to be honest. The other two are excited, but Cody doesn't understand. Um, you know, it's an autism thing. He just thinks, you know, this is somewhere new for me to play, sort of thing. Cody don't understand. He's uh, he don't really care. Be nice for him to have his own room, though. Hmm. What's going on with the soldering iron?
Welcome from America. There we go. That should be good. Just clean up. Solid, 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 solid. Yeah, I could physically see that there was nothing wrong with them, but I always like to check anyway because you just never know. Same as with continuity mode to make sure there's no bridges. But you just never know if there's a short that you're missing. What iron do you use? A Hakko FX 951. Alright, so I'll just test each pin in continuity to the one next to it. Just make sure that none of the pins are shorted. If we hear a beep, whoop, like that, then we're going to have a short. Safety Zero just resubscribed for seven months. Wow, seven months smile. Hello, Phil BTW. Thank you, Safe. Welcome, mate. Thank you. Yep, there we go. Does anyone know why some of the HDMI traces are squiggly? I guess it's because the pairs need to be the same length and we're shocked at such an intelligent guess. Uh, yeah, that is exactly correct. Um, the According to HDMI specs, the HDMI... Uh, the differential pairs on the HDMI port need to be within, I think it's 0.3 millimetres of each other, or 3 millimetres, one of the two. It's either 0.3 or 3 millimetres of each other um, to ensure a clear signal. So because some of the port, some of the traces, if they were to just go in a, a straight line, some of the traces are going to be longer than the others. Um, so yeah, they use some squiggles to make up the difference. Let's give that a test and see if I get any display. Just clean out the port while I'm there, just because it's going to have some flux in it. Right, okay, so let's just clean off the old thermal paste. I'm going to put fresh on. You've got to use the imperfect amount of thermal paste or you're infringing trying to fix his trademark. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, let me just clean out this heat sink. <sighs> this wasn't actually that dusty. Right, do we get a display? Come on. Still no display. That could be the hard drive. What's causing that? I mean, that HDMI port needed changing anyway, but. Yeah, that, that could be the hard drive. Right, let me let me find a hard drive out and hopefully find a SATA cable out as well. It could be the cable. Right, I've got a SATA cable. So I'm going to try that first. The SATA cable was damaged. Well, it, it was twisted round, so it could have, could have damaged one of the wires inside it. The SATA cable should not be twisted like that was. Interestingly, that's had repairs on the um, transistors around by the SATA cable for the uh, around power for the uh, hard drive. The hard drive is spinning up though. Still not displaying. Right, that's connected up. Always check HG, uh, hard drive first. I'm just going to grab, grab my cable from the microscope quickly. Ha! My cable's broken. Well. Well. There you go. Plug the, other, the original hard drive in. One moment. Okay, we have an E100 error. Yep, 
Yeah, E100, that's a hard drive ever. Uh, 61%. Uh, if you look at where that actually failed, it failed on 61%, which means that it's not recognising the hard drive. So... I'm just going to format my USB drive. It was trying to update before the error came up, yeah. Yeah. That was what the guy told me as well, so makes sense. So I'm just copying also one over to, um, yeah, over to my uh, USB drive. That's going to take a while because it's six and a half. Wow, since when was also one six and a half gig? So, troubleshoot and I'm going to connect up a USB. There we go. And there we go. That should accept the update. Right, that's just rebooting, ignore that. E100. That's likely a bad disk drive. Yeah, that's likely a disk drive issue. Right, the hard drive I've put in here is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't remember where the logs are now. Ah, not.log, that's it. Right, so, here's the log file for the reinstallation. Yeah, disk drive. Wah, wah, wah. Right, yeah. Can I get pair status or drive is not paired? Optical disk drive serial number from factory. There's the binary for it. DDO1. BB632 806 00 2 and the disk drive serial number that's in here is wrong. That's the wrong disk drive for this console. Wonder if a mod could be made to send this correct serial over the data cable. Nah, doubtful. Where's that original hard drive gone? Because I can read the original hard drive. If I read the original hard drive and check the error logs on that one, can you clone a bad disk drive? No, it's not a bad disk drive. There's nothing wrong with the disk drive. It's it's just the wrong disk drive. Um, right. Okay, here we go. So. It's not in there. Someone's got YouTube installed. <laughs> 13th of the 12th, 2019. What? Right. Yeah. Wrong disk drive. Wrong disk drive. Yeah. Disk drive doesn't match. So these two numbers here. So, basically what I'm looking at here is on the log file, um, always go to your latest log file. So, the latest log file in this case is 9.log. Is, um, uh, what's in sequence? Nothing. Um, yeah, the latest log file is 9.log on the uh, system support and then in ODD firmware update. So, when it's running the update, what it's doing is... Oh, when it's reinstalling the software, what it needs to do is it needs to install the firmware for the disk drive and sort of repair them. Uh, it's like a piracy, anti-piracy thing. Um, so it checks the serial number for the disk drive from the factory, which is that there. And then it checks the serial number on the disk drive and then it just literally does a if statement and checks to confirm whether or not it's, it's paired. And unfortunately... It's the wrong disk drive. It doesn't match what was in factory. Um, so, yeah, the serial number doesn't match, so it prevents it from going any further. Well, that's unfortunate, but there's nothing I can do. This console is a brick. It's a brick. It's no good, cannot be fixed unless the customer's got the original disk drive. 
Um, yeah. Sucks to be them, right? <laughs> There's nothing I can do, unfortunately. It's without that disc drive, it's scrap.